Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back inside of our Minecraft Hardcore World. I think we're on day 443 or something like that, and I'm super excited to get started with today's episode. Okay, so first things first, you guys have been commenting about the Woodland Mansion and how there might be a secret room behind one of the heads, so I think I'm gonna go back and check that out today. And also, I'm gonna get an upgrade on some of my tools. I need to get some netherite on these guys, because I've had these guys diamond for forever. And so I set out on an expedition in the nether. Good thing I saved my coordinates so I knew exactly where to go. And sure enough, we finally came across our nether portal. Alright, here's our first head, and let's see what we got inside of this thing. So I'm just gonna dig inside. I'm gonna dig inside the back, actually, because I want to preserve the face. Let's see if there's anything that's good to us in here. Oh, that's a lapis block. I'll take that. Is there anything else in here? Oh, no, it looks like it might actually be it. I don't think there's anything else inside this head. Alright, let's see what we can find in the back of this guy's head. Oh, is that another lapis block? Oh, that's nice. I don't think I have that much lapis. I think I have a couple stacks or like one or two stacks maybe at home. These 9 or 18 lapis should be pretty helpful. I right, now some of you guys were also saying that there was a secret room behind that one villager head I saw at the top. So I'm gonna go try and find that. I believe the stairs are just right around this corner. Are they? Oh yeah, here it is. Pretty dope. So there should be a villager head right there, yep. And a secret room behind this thing let's check it out oh you guys are actually right there is a secret room what is this it's like a weird thing of obsidian is there anything inside of it let's see what we get inside here oh oh it is a, it's actually a diamond block you guys were actually right all right well pretty dope glad i came back here for the lapis and diamond oh chill yeah but i think that's about it for this mansion i don't think there's anything else left in here to go check out i guess it's time for me to head back to our base I finally got back home after a long journey in the nether. I think it might now be time for me to finally get some netherite gear. But before that, it's trading day. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Alright, it's time for our nether expedition once again to go and grab some netherite. So I got my box full of beds. How much netherite do we currently have? Uh, we have three netherite scraps, and we need four of them to make one ingot, so we're gonna need... If I can do the math correctly, we need nine more scraps. So that shouldn't be too hard, I can probably get it pretty fast. Hopefully I have enough beds for this. Alright, well it's time to get exploding. So I'm having a bit of bad luck, I haven't found any netherite yet, I've already exploded like a pretty big area. And there's level pools everywhere, just gotta keep on going. My first piece of ancient debris came pretty soon. Alright, we're heading back up now. I got my 9 ancient debris, so this should be enough to make all of my tools netherite, so we'll finally actually have some netherite tools. It'll look a lot better. Dump some trash inside of here, because we don't need this stuff. Okay, I believe we just have to smelt this stuff now. Grab some of our gold, where is it? And we can finally make this. I finally got my three amazing looking netherite ingots, but now it's time to head over to the village so we can actually upgrade our tools. Gotta find Mr. Weaponsmith, where are you at? I believe, yep, this is him right here. So first our sword, let's do this. 10.5 attack damage, that's pretty dope. Next up our pickaxe. And finally our shovel spoon. There we go, that looks actually amazing, we got our full netherite set. This is actually dope, dude. Finally, after 440 or so days of this world, we finally have full netherite. Later in the day, I wanted to get started onto our next villager house, and I just changed it into a square, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to build. I don't know if I'll finish the whole thing in this episode today, though. But here's just a mini time-lapse anyway, enjoy. And that's where it all ended, that's where the story comes to a close. So here's what happens, I'm going to explain this. This isn't all bad news by the way, so you should probably save the end, because we got some good news at the end. So you know, it was just a normal day recording Minecraft, opening up Fabric Loader, which is the mod I installed for like recording the cinematic replays. I went in and then I actually built the whole like house. But then something happened to the world after I exited it. Somehow it was corrupted, I spent a whole night trying to recover it, but there was no luck. 
I was pretty bummed out, you know, like, we were nearing 500 days and I was kind of hyped for the release of the world, you know, like, I really wanted to get that world download out for you guys. But I mean, this is also a good learning experience for me because like starting last night, I backed up everything I had using Windows built-in backup system as well as an external hard drive to avoid this from ever happening again. If you have any important worlds or data that means a lot to you, I would recommend to start backing up your files as you know, I don't want this to happen to you guys, it's pretty bad. Well, the file is pretty much unrecoverable now, so I'll just have to accept that and move forward. But I do have some good news for the channel though. Coming up soon, I'll be starting up multiple series. Hardcore Season 2 will be fun because now that I've learned so much, it'll be interesting to see how I take it again. My building skills should be so much better than before. And a Minecraft 100 Days modded Bruh. series as well. This should be a cool twist to my normal vanilla series. Yeah, there's gonna be a poll set up in the community tab of which one you guys want to see first. So I'll link that down in the description for you guys to check out. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. How my world got corrupted. I said this on Twitter before I actually brought it to YouTube actually, so you guys can follow my Twitter if you want. I mean, like, I don't really post there, but it's gonna be in the description as well. Yeah, once again, I'm super sad this actually happened because, you know, this world meant a lot to me. It's kind of like a memory just got completely removed. But, you know, we're going to keep on going because I will not give up. This opened up a path for me to expand to more series, more different kinds of games, more things for you guys. Well, I'm sorry this video ended abruptly, but that's just going to be how it is, I guess. It's kind of like Filzo when he did his first hardcore series. He thought his first world got lost forever, but he actually found it, which was a happy ending for him. If you guys haven't seen him, he's a great Minecraft hardcore player. Well, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Expect some epic videos coming out very soon. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.